Happy anniversary. <gasps> it's the Iron Throne. Whoa. It's the Iron Throne. Yes, it is. I had a guy at the model store make a replica. He's a bigger Game of Thrones fan than you are. Okay, I know I'm making that dumb surprise face, but I can't help it. This is the greatest gift I've ever received, Leslie. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Yes. No. Yes. No. Come here, come hither, peasant. Come here. Who are you? Our starship is in trouble. Okay, Leslie, listen, if you're not, if you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Reggie Wayne! If you look inside your bags, you will find a few things. A bouquet of hand crocheted flower pens, a mosaic portrait of each of you made from the crushed bottles of your favorite diet soda, and a personalized 5,000 word essay of why you are all so awesome. Leslie wishes she could be here herself to give you these presents, but she's suspended. Oh, and also she said that they're not from her, they're from Santa Claus. Can I go first? <laughs> Mouse rat. Certified gold. Over 100 copies sold in Pawnee. I need to get a picture of me holding this so I can frame it. Personalized leopard printed robe, pink feather cuffs, and on the back in rhinestones, you can get it. I know you're sad you couldn't get tickets to the Watch the Throne tour, so I got you a watch and a tiny throne instead. And check it out, she even took out the dumb clock part and put this in. Baller time. These are the Black Eyed Peas. And I finally killed them. It's a Christmas miracle. Every year, I give Leslie the same present I give everyone, a crisp $20 bill. And every year she gets me something thoughtful and personal. It makes me furious. This year, she outdid herself. She had it installed over the weekend. It's so, it's so beautiful. Here, I'll help you. Whoa, documents! Yeah. This is your original intern application, your original parking pass. This is your original photo ID. Did you get that out of my purse? Doesn't matter. And this is a copy of your very first paycheck. Who's that from? Me. It's from me. Happy birthday. Thank you, Leslie. Open mind. It is. It's nice. I mean, it can be a little sappy and sentimental to kind of frame things, but it's always nice to remember the beginning of something, you know, the start. And when you have ah! that, like... Oh, jeez. Ron. For God's sake. She's an adult now. She should know how to responsibly handle and discharge a weapon. That there is a Sig Sauer 22 caliber mosquito. Manufactured in Switzerland for their pussy police force, this two-toned lightweight model is perfect for a skinny little thing like you. Gee, thanks, Ron. I will hold on to this for you until we get you licensed up, and then I'll take you for some target practice. Goody. Yeah, I do feel a little guilty. I'm re-gifting. Thank you all so much for helping me with these boxes. I'm just a little behind because every time I start, I get <laughs> a little emotional. Hey, that box has my name on it. Hey, this one has my name on it. This one has Plate's name on it. You have just found your buddy boxes. Each box contains a memento of our friendship. I was gonna give them to you later, but there is no time like the present. Fun pun alert. A bronzed hamburger. It's from our turkey versus beef cook-off, remember? You were a worthy adversary. I would have preferred a regular hamburger for eating, but this is very nice. 2008 Indiana State Audit Spreadsheets? And that year was insane! That was the year you went from being an auditor to a legend. Whoa! A picture of me officiating Leslie and Ben's wedding. And look, you can just about see my head. Thank you so much. Slag juice! I thought these were destroyed by the FDA. I did have to go to a very seedy location to find it, but now I know where to go to place a bet on horse fighting. Hey, did you hear the news? Ben and Chris want us to go in a conference room C for a meeting. Let's get this over with.
Happy birthday, Ron. Anne said you had a big party. Sombreros, karaoke. Yeah, I did that for Anne. Why would I throw Ron Swanson and Ann Perkins' party? What about the giant list of things April was doing? That was just a list of ways to mess with you. She do them all? She did indeed. So, I have rented Bridge on the River Kwai and the Dirty Dozen. Artie from security is outside the door, so no one will bother you. And a cab will be here whenever you're ready to take you home. Thank you. Mm. What? No, damn it! What are you bidding on? It better not be Terrence Howard's tank top from Hustle and Flow. It is not. Good, because I am bidding on it, and I am ready to spend an amount that my accountant calls dangerous and irresponsible. JJ's Diner put an old waffle iron up for auction. It's the perfect breakfast day gift for Leslie. Breakfast day? Leslie has anniversaries for everything. Zoo day, the first time we went to the zoo together. Double date day, was the first time we went on a double date. Daniel Day-Lewis day. Talk like a pirate day. Talk like a Pittsburgh pirate day, which why and how. This calendar was last year's calendar day present, celebrating the first time she ever bought me a calendar. <sighs> Happy, Happy Waffle Day! day. Oh my Day Waffle Day joint present I have ever received. Wow, thank you so much. You're welcome. But Anne and I wanted to tell you that this is the last breakfast day and Waffle Day we'll be celebrating. Wait, what? Oh my God, you're both dying. No, no, we just can't keep up with all the anniversaries. It's too much, especially because you're so good at them. I'm no better at them than you are. That's ridiculous, I'm so much better, point taken. But we have a compromise. Every year, there will be one day, Anne Day, where you can celebrate all of Anne's holidays, and Ben Day, where we can celebrate all of ours. What about Anne Month and Ben Month? How about a week? Fine. We went in with a day, figuring she'd counter with a month. We were fine with a week. But there will be a third week. It will be called Friend Week. It will be commemorating this week, the week that my two best friends became each other's best friends. I have a Friend Week present for you right now. Here you go. Why did you already have these? Thank you. Thanks. What's going on here? Merry Christmas, Leslie. We made you this replica of the Parks Department out of gingerbread. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I love it, and I love you guys, and Anne specifically, and all of you. You did all of this together? Yes, except for me. Turns out I cannot make a gingerbread house, which would bother me if I were an eight-year-old girl. In any case, these people stepped up and helped me out, and that gave me another idea. This is the city council chambers, and that's you next May. I don't understand. Your campaign advisors quit, big deal. You're running for city council again, Leslie, with our help. April Ludgate, youth outreach and director of new media. Tom Haverford, image consultant, swagger coach. Ann Perkins, office manager and volunteer coordinator. Andy Dwyer, security, suites, Body man, javelin if need be. Donna Meagle, transpo, AKA rides in my Benz. Well, you guys didn't tell me we were doing this. I, I did not know that I was supposed to come up with something. I... Ron Swanson, any other damn thing you might need. Guys, it's so much work. I can't ask you to put your lives on hold. Find one person here who you haven't helped by putting your life on hold. I don't know what to say. Except, let's go win an election. <laughs> Giving Christmas gifts is like a sport to me. Finding or making that perfect something. It's also like a sport to me because I always win. This year though, my friends won. In fact, I got my ass handed to me.